Kwerano Kekana says the party has failed her and insists Mabe sexually harassed her on three occasions. He has been cleared of the allegations and is back at work. We are not necessarily only dealing with a sexual harassment case here, but we are dealing with a matter of the unethical conduct of the mouthpiece of the NC, the oldest liberation movement, the movement that is 107 years a leader of society. We are dealing with a, the unethical conduct of a, a senior leader of the African National Congress. Uh, the ANC speaks of integrity from time and time again. And if you have a mouthpiece, now you must understand when you are a spokesperson, you, you are the one who continuously try to create a positive image of, of, of the brand that you represent. Now, if you are unethical as a person, uh, you, you, are, you don't have integrity as a person, then it means all of these things that we, 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 we speak about is the ANC are just rhetoric, we are just lamenting. Because I give a person a CV in June, uh, they have two months to go through the CV to check all, 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 you know, to make correspondences on everything that I mentioned in the CV. They did not do that, they hired me. You later come and say, I don't have qualification. When it's mentioned in the CV that I don't have a qualification, you could have verified that with the institution before you employed me. I was given a contract. I signed a contract because I was looking for a job. I mean, I think that's something any, any young black person would do in this country because of given the, the high, high rate of unemployment. Uh, so we are dealing with the unethical conduct of a person who, who sees it fit to interfere in, in our personal lives, you know, who sees, who sees it fit to, to, to turn you into an asset of his uh, and, and, you know, you, you must belong to him. There are a lot of things that transpired in the office in that, in that space of four months. And some I tried narrating, but because of the, 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 the things that I had presented to the panel, I was, I was constrained within those eight issues. But there's, there are issues of ill treatment, you know, uh, by a senior leader, when the ANC is advocating for for equality, is advocating for you know for for employment, people must be employed and they must be employed in safe and sound environments. So if the ANC is unable to deal with this particular individual, who uh, in, in no space of time cannot even uh, help the ANC gain confidence from its masses, uh, who who is who is who lacks integrity. Kekana was speaking to Zikona Chona, but the ANC's Stu Modlamini, who was uh, chairing the grievance panel, maintains the process was fair. We would want to respect the right of our employee, uh, whether she chooses to disagree. But what she cannot disagree with is the fairness of the process. It was a fair process. She was comfortable with the process till the end. Once she's got the outcomes, and it is expected, people may agree or disagree, but there are procedures then to follow. You don't start uh, going public and say, I disagree with that process. You follow the procedure. For instance, in this instance, if you're not happy internally with the outcomes, you go to the CCMA, or you may decide to go to another institution like uh, uh, the labor court if you feel the CCMA is not going to serve you well but follow procedure at the moment we have met with her to hand her the the, the outcomes with her representative